Hi everybody, this is Rob from FLX Bike, and if you're wondering why I'm wearing these goofy glasses today, it's because we'll also be posting some of these videos straight to Snapchat. You can follow us here for some tips. So if you've got a mid-motored e-bike, you may have had this happen to you before, especially if you found this video with the Bafong motor, it's called the Air 21, with, with your other motor, with the Bosch, Bros, Yamaha, Shimano, any other mid-motored e-bike, it'll probably say something, uh, speed sensor error, and then you won't be able to go because the motor doesn't know how fast you're going. So it doesn't know if you're going too fast for the motor or if you're completely stopped and there's something wrong. So what it default does is it will just stop giving you power. It'll say, hey, something's wrong. Take a minute, fix me first, and then you can ride. So 99% of the time, if you've got a speed sensor error, it's so simple to solve. Don't ever take it to a bike mechanic. Uh, have a look yourself first and see if you can fix it. So what we're gonna do is look on the back wheel of the bike. There's a magnet which goes by the speed sensor and there's a speed sensor. So you wanna put those in line with each other so that the magnet and the speed sensor are in one level plane. So this is a part that's really easy to get wrong. Um, the reason is this is a nice circular part here. The magnet is also circular, but uh, these are not meant to line up. It's kind of counterintuitive. It looks like this magnet this circle part and this circle part should go together, but this is just a hole for the bolt that mounts the speed sensor to the frame. Uh, that's how it is on the Bafong system, the Bafong Max system. The same is with many Bosch systems. So you've got this mounting bolt and it's actually the rectangular part here, which houses the electronics and the speed sensor. So we wanna line up the magnet with the rectangular part. So have a look here. Those are perfectly in line. It should not be in line with this circular part, which is just mounting to the frame. So all you've got to do on the magnet, I'll just move it so I can access it with the screwdriver. Loosen this. I want to slide it so that it's in line with the speed sensor. So I'm going to guess that it's pretty much right here. And then make sure that magnet on the other side is flat. All right, I'll tighten it up and I'll rotate it back. Now I can see that it's in line here. All right, so let's say you adjusted the magnet. It's right in line with that speed sensor, but you're still getting that speed sensor error and the bike just won't work after that. So that could be one of two scenarios. One is the magnet's too far away from the speed sensor, and two is maybe something's gone wrong in the connection of the speed sensor. So I'm gonna show you how to test and figure out which one it is. So all you need to do is remove your speed sensor magnet and we're gonna activate it by hand. So I'll just loosen this up. So I've just pulled off the magnet and what I'm gonna do is just wave it in front of the speed sensor a few times and see if it can pick up some speed. It's a bit awkward here, so I'll show you a pro tip. We've got our screwdriver. I'll stick it right on the end of this magnet and just wave it right there. So now with the bike turned on, I can look at the speedometer, wave it back and forth and we're getting 25, 28, 29, 30. So that speed sensor is definitely working with the magnet in front of it. So what does that mean? If you adjusted it and it didn't pick up anything, now it picks up speed. That means maybe it was, still wasn't properly aligned. We need to adjust it further or even get them closer. So perhaps the magnet was on a spoke that was too far away, find a closer spoke. Or what we can do is pop some washers under here so unbolt the speed sensor, put some washers in, and bolt it back in, and that will bring it out a little bit closer to the magnet. So if you're like 99% of the cases we've seen, adjusting that magnet or even the location of the speed sensor, getting it out a little, should have fixed your problem, and you'll be on your bike and riding. If it did not fix it, that means there's a problem with the speed sensor, or maybe it's just come unplugged. So what you'll need to do is contact your manufacturer. If it's us, we've got 24 seven chat support. Give us a chat at flx.bike and we will send you out a new speed sensor or give you some tips on how to troubleshoot that. Basically, you would just trace the line back to the motor, make sure it's plugged in right. If it's not, plug it in. If it is, that means it's a bum speed sensor. Swap in a new one and you should be good to go. So speed sensors are nothing new. Uh, maybe yours doesn't look exactly like how it did on the FLX attack. So here's another, another bike. This is the generation one FLX trail with a different speed sensor. Now speed sensors go back for, for decades and decades, 
from traditional pedal bikes. They actually used to put little cycle computers on them with a speed sensor, worked exactly the same way, and it would just tell you how fast you're going. Okay, so here you want the magnet to align right with the circular part. And if you look at mine, it's not perfectly aligned. It's off by about a quarter of an inch. And this is actually something interesting because when I ride the bike, the speed sensor does work, but the speed displays a little bit slow. When I feel like I'm going 25 or so, it shows about 10. So what that's due to is it's vibrating while I'm riding and sometimes it picks it up, sometimes it doesn't. So that's because it's just not aligned correctly. So now that I've moved it, it lines up perfectly with the sensor part, which is the circular part on the Generation 1 FLX bikes and other Buffelli motor systems. So now I'll just take it for a ride, make sure it works, and we're ready to roll. So I'm just going to tilt it a little so the rear wheel is free, hit the throttle, and now we got speed showing up. So I can shift through these gears and get it to go even faster. But yeah, it's working. All right, guys, that's it for today's tip. I hope this has been helpful for your speed sensor error or maybe we'll help you resolve it in the future. If you got any questions about it or other e-bike questions, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget, if you want to get the next tip straight when it comes out, to subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell. That's it, guys. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>